In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today it is 18th day of November in the year of our Lord and Savior 2023. And today we celebrate the dedication of the Basilica of St. Peter and Paul the Apostles. Our gospel passage is taken from Luke chapter 18, verses 1 to 8. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. And he told them a parable to the effect that they ought always to pray and not lose heart. He said, In a certain city there was a judge who neither feared God nor regarded man. And there was a widow in that city who kept coming to him and saying, Vindicate me against my adversary. For a while he refused, but afterwards he said to himself, Though I neither fear God nor regard man, yet because this widow bothers me, I will vindicate her or she will wear me out by her continual coming. And the Lord said, Hear what the unrighteous judge says. The Gospel of our Lord Today's gospel gives a parable Jesus told during his last trip to Jerusalem. When Luke recorded this passage, the parousia or the second coming of Jesus had been delayed beyond the limits the early church had expected. Further, the church was experiencing persecution from both the Jews and the Romans. The persecuted early Christians were finding it increasingly difficult to maintain their faith. Today's gospel lesson, addressing the issues of faith in difficult times, must have reassured those disciples, as Jesus reassured his own contemporaries. The God was that God was listening to their persistent prayers and would grant them justice and vindicate their faith in the end. Jesus presents the widow in today's gospel as a model of the trust and tenacity with which all his disciples are to pray. This parable, based on the corrupt Roman legal practices prevalent in Palestine at the time of Jesus, was very prevalent. The judge in the parable was a magistrate appointed either by Herod or by the Romans. Such judges were avaricious and corrupt, demanding bribes for a favorable decision, and they had no fear of God or the public. By publicly badgering the judge every day, the woman was trying to shame his shameless person. Finally, the unjust judge was forced to yield. Hence, this parable is not only about the efficacy of persistent prayer, but also shows us how God's justice reaches out to the poor and the weak, enabling them to fight against injustice. The parable teaches us that the purpose of all our prayers is the argumentation of our trust, trusting faith in a loving and caring God who is our Father. Now, one thing or a few things that we may need to pay attention to. One, 
prayer attunes our minds to God's enabling us to do what he wants. The parable teaches us that our prayers do not change God's will. Instead, they bring our hearts into line with his purposes. Sincere and persistent prayer makes us ready to accept and live out his will in love and trust. Number two, we should not expect to get whatever we pray for. We would like to get from God what we want, when and how we want it. But God, who always hears all our prayers, knows how and when to grant our prayers. Only God sees time whole and therefore only God knows what is truly good for us and when in the long run. Hence, we have to leave it to God's decision saying, Thy will be done. And to express our trusting faith in and dependence on him by persevering in our prayers. Number three, never at any one point stop praying. Even when nothing, absolutely nothing is happening. Even in those times when nothing is happening, we must keep on praying. Because in the realms of the spirit, a lot is happening. Did you hear that? That even when you're praying and you can't see anything tangible, don't mind. Keep praying because on the realms of the spirit, there is a lot, a lot happening. God is on your case. And it doesn't matter how many years you have prayed for a certain intention. Keep praying. There is something happening. God is on your case. And when the right time comes, oh, for sure, he will make it come to pass. Thank you. And God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. My dear friend, I'm sure you're very well. On this day, Saturday the 18th, Today in our gospel, we've learned that we need not to give up. Persistence in prayer is key. We keep on praying even when we think nothing is happening. Because we were told that even when we think that nothing is happening, a lot is happening in the realm of the spirit. So we keep praying. So I share with you the prayer of not and never giving up. Let us pray. Holy Spirit, encourage me. Don't let me give up on my destiny, life assignment, or whatever God asked me to do. Holy Spirit, help me not to get tired of doing good, even when the reciprocal is different. Even when there is nobody saying thank you. Even when I'm never receiving accolades. Even when I'm never recognized. Don't let me get discouraged and give up. Let me reap a harvest of blessings at the appropriate time. Heavenly Father, the good work you have begun in me, complete it until the day of Jesus. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My dear friend, I remain your priest and servant, Father C.K., wishing you a productive Saturday. Thank you. God bless.